In this lecture, we will solve one numerical data type question and I have taken this question from GATE 2002 exam. We will first read the question and then we will solve it. According to the question, the Laplace transform of IT is given by IS equal to 2 over S multiplied to 1 plus S and as T approaches to infinity, the value of signal IT tends to. So we need to find the value of time domain signal IT when T is approaching to infinity and according to the question, signal IT is having the Laplace transform IS and IS is equal to 2 over S multiplied to 1 plus S. And here you can see that the question is asking us to find out the final value of signal IT because when T is approaching to infinity, the value of IT is I infinity which is the final value of IT or we can write limit T is tending to infinity, the time domain signal IT. And we know the final value theorem can be used to find out the final value of signal IT. According to the final value theorem, the final value of IT is equal to limit S tending to 0, S multiplied to the Laplace transform which is IS. So if we can find out the limit S tending to 0, SIS, we will have the final value of signal IT. And we know before calculating the final value of the time domain signal using the final value theorem, we always check the two conditions. The first condition says the signal we are having should be equal to zero for all the values of T which are less than zero. And whenever the region of convergence is given, we check this condition. But in this question, ROC is not given. And when ROC is not given, we assume condition number one is satisfied. So we will directly move to the second condition. And according to the condition number two, the frequency domain signal SFS, in this case, we are having IS as the representation of the Laplace transform. So I will write SIS. SIS should have all the poles located on the left hand side of the complex plane or the S plane. So our first task is to find out the function or signal SIS which is a frequency domain function and we can easily obtain SIS by multiplying S on both the sides. So we have SIS equal to 2S in numerator and in denominator we have S multiplied to 1 plus S. S in numerator and S in denominator will cancel out. So we finally have 2 over 1 plus S. Now to calculate the poles, we will equate the denominator with 0. So 1 plus S is equal to 0. And from here we are getting S equal to minus 1. So minus 1 is the pole and we will locate the pole in the S plane. The Y axis is for J omega and the X axis is for sigma. Let's say minus 1 is located here. So this is the location of our pole and you can clearly see that there is one pole and the pole is located on the left half of the S plane. So condition number two is satisfied and as both the conditions are satisfied, we can use the final value theorem. So let's quickly perform the calculations. From here, we will have I infinity equal to limit s tending to 0, s multiplied to is or we can write s multiplied to 2 over s multiplied to 1 plus s. s and s will cancel out. So we are having limit s tending to 0, 2 over 1 plus s. We will put s equal to 0 here. So we have i infinity equal to 2 over 
1 plus 0 which is equal to 2. So 2 is our answer and if you have any doubt you may ask in the comment section. I will end this lecture here. See you in the next one.